I am exhausted. I am sunburnt, and I am inside a baseball stadium at 10 p.m. That must mean it's high school baseball season here in Central Texas. Tons of great action all around the region. We're going to start in 3A West, taking on Franklin for the area championship. The Trojans either win or they go home against the Lions, playing this one in Salado. Bottom three, Lions lead one. West pitcher Gavin Poteet tries a third to first pickoff. Ball gets away. Parker Boyette scores, and it's 2-0 Franklin. Same inning, same score. Dylan Roden chops one to short. Ball is bobbled, and another run comes around to score. A few batters later, Eric Gomez lines one right over the shortstop's head. Roden comes around to score, and it's 4-0 Franklin. In the top of the fourth, West threatening. Landon Campbell drops one in the left center, and the Trojans are now on the board. It's 4-1. In the bottom of the fourth, Franklin wasn't done. Two outs, runners on second and third. Pass ball allows Blake Autry to come home. It's 5-1 Franklin. They would go on to win 6-1 and eliminate West. Franklin will play the winner of Whitney vs. Academy. Bottom of the second, one out, man on third. Whitney's Cannon Watson pops up the bunt. First baseman Trey Ward makes the catch, applies the tag at home, and they double him up. This game would stay scoreless through five innings with four combined hits. Top six, Zane Clark ropes one into left field. Coming around from second is Kyler Smith, and it's one nothing Bees. Now 3 nothing. Whitney tries to pick off Cole Shackelford at second. No one's covering the bag. He races around, and it's 4 nothing Bees. Bottom six we go. Bases loaded. Cade Baker chops the ball to the shortstop. The throw goes out of the playing field, and two runs score. It's now 4-2 Academy. One more run would come around. 4-3. We've got two outs. Tate Winkler just gets contact on it. John Thomasette can't make the play. One run scores, and then the ball goes MIA. A go-ahead run scores. It's 5-4 Whitney. Top seven, Cade Keaton, the closing pitcher, gets the final out. Three up, three down. Whitney is celebrating 5-4. They think they win, but it's not so simple. Both coaches from Whitney and Academy claim a pitch count difference, which means a potential Whitney DQ if their pitcher went over that limit. Right now it's the old uh, pitch count rule there. Um, we're going off of what we had. We had 69 pitches. Uh, for our lefty that just finished the game right now, and that's what I was going off of. So that would have put him at starting the final batter at 110 pitches. And um, well, they had a, they had him for 71. Um, their game changer official sheet had 71. Their game changer had 64. I had 69. So right now it's just a numbers game. Uh, uh, right now, you know, it's kind of out of our hands. We're just going to kind of send in the information that we have and let the UIL decide. Whitney is currently the winner, but both coaches will write statements to the UIL pleading their cases and a decision should be made by Monday. Let's end with some taps. Division four live Oak for Central Texas Christian. It was a pitching duel early strikeout here. It was scoreless with just four hits total through five frames. Top of the six, bases loaded, 3-2 count, and a walk brings home the first run. Central Texas Christian has a 1-0 lead. Next batter, Zach Bohr, wanting some runs. He gets them all. A double in the gap opens this game up big time. Lions take a 4-0 lead. They didn't look back. They move on to the tap semis. And I'm standing here at Baylor Ballpark. The Bears are not in town. They're in Manhattan, Kansas, taking on K-State. They drop today's game 7-5. to five. Series finale is tomorrow, and it's pivotal. They do not want to be the last team in the Big 12. They want to take a trip to Arlington for that championship tournament. Stick around because more news is coming back right after the break.